Hi everybody, it's Jen Cirillo here in Vermont where it's snowing and the leaves are falling. Um, I'm excited to be talking with you today and um, kicking off the start of the Education for Sustainability Pedagogies um, two weeks where we'll be exploring that idea. I know you've just come from um, thinking about the purpose of schooling and the purpose of education and the difference between schooling and learning. And I got to read some of your discussions and I got to see some of Aziza's students' responses to what is the purpose of education. Um, in this, you know, we can assume that with education for sustainability that the purpose is sustainability. Um, and while sustainability hasn't been defined by a single group of people, I think the general sense of um, education for sustainability, it's about improving quality of life and it's about um, justice and health in communities. Um, and those what justice and health looks like is defined by those communities where the education is happening. Um, for me, education for sustainability is kind of a career that I can see myself in for the rest of my life as it's one, it's not defined. It isn't a static thing that says this is what education for sustainability is and what one has to do when they're educating for sustainability. Um, and the other part of it is, is that there's an international community that's come together around this idea of education for sustainability or education for sustainable development uh, with a really clear purpose that education is about creating more healthy and just communities and not just uh, to learn to read and write um, or to learn how to do a, a particular task and a skill and a job. So for me, it has a lot of promise. Um, and because it's not defined, it's defined by the people um, who are engaging in the education, it just gives me a lot of excitement too that it isn't something that's just being passed around as a um, as an idea from a dominant culture that's being spread. So when you look at education for sustainability in Australia, India, Japan, Africa, it's all really different. Um, I think we have some shared sense, um, though that there are some of the pedagogical approaches that work and those are the ones that are student centered the ones that really um, highlight the community so you might think about place-based learning um, student-centered learning some folks have really um, included service learning or an idea of um, engaging in some kind of project with the community so project-based learning is one of the pedagogies that's often found um, and we'll be exploring with you throughout the next two weeks um, both those pedagogies um, along with others that you are going to be looking for. And we'll also be thinking together about how do we educate for a sustainable future? Where do our values around sustainability come in line with how we engage others, how we facilitate a learning experience, whether we're a person that's tasked with being a teacher or that we're actually side by side learning with somebody. So I'm really looking forward to the next two weeks um, reading your discussions and hearing from you um, what you think about education for sustainability and the pedagogies that support it. Thanks.